Hey, Oliver, what a surprise! Namaste, Oliver. Nice to find you still alive. McManiac, Aouda, what are you doing here? I'm guessing it has something to do with acting. You are a sharp bloke. I was on my way back to Scotland for a time, and then I met Miss Aouda coming back from a small village called Holwood. No, Hollywood, my Magdalene. The Americans stole the idea from us. Oh, yes, sorry, Hollywood, that's it. Anyway, she met a movie producer with a big project there. Big budget, loaded with effects. Yes, Mr. Steven Spielberg. A big ego, yet a fascinating man. But not nearly as fascinating as you, pussy love. <laughs> yes, of course, few are. I'm sure I could make movies for far less. So, here we are. Aouda, what about Ravish? Ravish? Oh, uh, yes, well, yes, I, I asked him to choose between the elephant and me and, well, no woman can compete with that. Mm, yeah, no surprise there. Anyway, I need to find the Commodore to find out why the train is slowing down. Don't you know? It's all over the train. The Commodore saw a herd of bison and decided to organize a hunt from the wagon windows. It should be great. Was he love? Hunting is horrible. Unless, of course, it's in a big budget movie. I played the wife of a hunter once. Ah, hunting from a train. Not very sporting. We have to stop it, Oliver. You are a little rogue, aren't you? You're easy to manipulate. I like that in a man. I'm going to find an answer, but wait for me. The only way is to stop the passengers from seeing the bison. Only how to do that? Think, Oliver, think. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay calm. Everybody will have a weapon, and the WTO is offering you their last few heavy machine guns and dynamite. Let me organize my hunt, please! Now, who wants an 88 mortar? I can't wait until atomic bombs are invented. That'll really put the fun back into hunting. need something to divert smoke on the coaches. Then nobody will see the bison and the hunting party will be canceled. Guns and moving trains are such an ugly combination.
Impossible! Hurrah! Hurrah! need a little more time to figure out where the smoke is coming from. I doubt it was the bison themselves, but maybe bison sympathizers. Commodore, you'd better cancel the hunt while you're looking for the mechanical failure. The bisons will be long gone. They're nomadic creatures, you know. You should put the train back to its normal speed. What, you again? Let me guess. You're a bison hugger. Good grief. The Commodore of the airship? Commodore, can't you keep a job? Yes, my job is new, but my luck is still the same. Bad. I blame you. You must be some sort of trouble magnet. I swear I will not speed up the train. I will stop the smoke and dispatch people to bring back the bison. Ladies and gentlemen, rest assured, you will have your hunt. Now, who wants a semi-automatic rifle? I think we have a few grenades on board for the business class passengers. Well, he's just thrown down the gauntlet, and I'm going to accept it. What's happening, Oliver? The Commodore is refusing to cancel the hunt. He's as stubborn as he is dull-witted. Okay then, come to the engine room with me. We'll find a way to make the train go faster, and Iota will take care of the Commodore. None can resist her charm. Yes, that's true. My fan club is growing daily. My dear friend! Can we get a move on, please? Aye, right, right. You're a pushy bloke. In fact, I'm returning to Scotland. I'll take some ghost of my family for the giraffe's fun there. You remember? How could you forget? Hmm. I can imagine this cool Nessie with the Niagara Falls attraction. Wonderful! But the problem is that she's so shy. Hmm. We can even shoot a blockbuster horror movie with all these ghosts and Ayauda as a frightened Raja daughter. Hmm. I'm speaking to you about film, because maybe you'll be interested in investing in it. Movies are a great investment. Now, focus. Please, we have to find the speed control system. Okay. Thinking. What have you done, you fools? Well, uh, we're consults. We've improved your train. That'll be 100 pounds, please. You've ruined everything. You've destroyed the control panel system. We can't stop the train. This is a disaster. I'm not paying you more than 50 pounds. Calm down. You yanks, you go crazy about any little thing. And our bill is non-negotiable. Ah, oh, this can't be good. I just found out that the bridge between Losertown and Portland has collapsed, and this bridge is right in our path. Oh, I miss my nice safe airship filled with tons of explosive gas. Good grief, maybe I am bad luck. The only way to save the passengers is to separate the engine wagon from the train, and you'll have to sacrifice yourself. But that's okay, because everything is your fault. Of course we accept the responsibility for our mistake, whatever the cost. Isn't that true, McManiac? McManiac? Yes, yes. Whatever you say. But leave poor Iota all alone? That'd be cruel. 
When she wins an Emmy, her paydays will double. Plus, I've started writing material for her now. I'll go back to take care of the passengers and relieve their fears by telling them how you will sacrifice yourself. Goodbye, Oliver. You're not that bad a guy after all, for a bison hugger. We'll never forget you. Maybe I'll name a character in a movie after you. We could call him Oliver Twist. I like the way that sounds. What? Am I dreaming? I will not fail so close to my goal. Well, what do you know? It works. 